Good morning, Dos Pueblos. Happy Tuesday. Today, we'll be sharing news about the Usher Eds Club, yearbook distribution, mock trial, and more. DP, DP News starts now. Chargers, if you're part of NHS and our CSF, remember to vote for the 2016-2017 officers at lunch today. Also, we'd like to further congratulate our seniors in the Engineering Academy. Here is Anne with Vashay and Rennie, some of my fave deep penguineers. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ann Bailey here with Rennie Takeda, Vishay Singh. So, Rennie, can you tell us what the Maker Fair is? So, the Maker Fair is a huge um, congregation of makers from all over the world um, displaying like any creative um, thing they've made, anything from like a robot to a flamethrower to a cupcake car or anything like that. It's the greatest um, show and tell in the world. That's what they call it. Ooh, sounds fancy. So, Vishay, can you tell us what the DP engineers made? So, this year, the seniors' uh, capstone project was to create a physics arcade. Um, basically, what that entails is we have 14 kiosks, and in each kiosk, it comprises of six group members that put their individual projects in, three to a project, and basically that has different physics concepts throughout each kiosk, and that's what we've been working on since the beginning of the year and are still in the process of completing, um, hopefully before graduation. Cool. So, what I heard you got the most ribbons out of all the schools, so can you tell us about what they are? Yeah, we actually got um, four Editor's Choice Awards and um, one Best in Class Award for Education. Yeah. Cool. So, reactions, what was it like? What did you think? Um, yeah, we got a lot of positive reactions. I personally got someone's phone number. She was late 50s, but still got it. That yeah, was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then also, like, people just really were, like, astonished by what we created. And to say that we were still in high school and doing this was also another amaze meant to all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. So what did you think? What was your reaction? Um, I had a lot of people coming up just saying like how great it is that we are able to like experience this in high school and people saying that they wish they could come back to high school, which I don't think is a very common thing. <laughs> and um, uh, there was a woman that came up to me and a couple other people and asked if we wanted to be in the America's Greatest Makers TV show. So there was a lot of people that are just like really amazed by what our school has accomplished. Yeah. Wow, that is really impressive. Well, thank you guys for coming in, and congrats on all the ribbons. Well, thank sending you. it back over to Olivia and Ashley right behind us. Thank you, Anne. Great. Want to stay in the loop about all the school activities next year? Next year's juniors and seniors can join the Usherettes Club. They meet twice a month on Monday and plan out more, help out at football games, organize senior ceremonies and graduation, and on top of that, they earn tons of community service hours. If you are interested, sign-ups for interviews are in Ms. Avalos' room. Interview dates are May 31st to June 3rd. Now, what we've all been waiting for is finally happening. Yearbooks will be available this Thursday. Seniors can pick up their books in the EPAC during Late Start from 8 to 8.45 a.m. or after school. And all other students can pick up their books after school. Students without a sixth period can get a wristband from their counselor to get their book during sixth period. If you have not purchased your yearbook, you can still do so at dpyearbook.org or bring $90 to the business office or $100 at yearbook distribution. Make sure to pick it up this Thursday because if not, you'll have to wait another week until next Tuesday, May 31st. Do you want to be a member of the DP's prestigious mock child team next year? The team has won seven out of eight county competitions, are the Santa Barbara County Champions, the California State Mock Trial Champions, and placed first in the Empire World Championships. They are hosting a summer camp for all students who want to learn how mock trial works, how to analyze a case, and how to develop a witness's characters, as well as what the coaches will be looking for in September when tryouts for the team are held. Each one-week camp will use a different case. Students are welcome to attend a single week or both weeks of camp. The camp costs $150 per week. Quick note for prospective leadership students, please remember to check your date and times because interviews start today. Now that's all Ashley and I have for you. Now over to Peter with the sport.
What's up, DP? This is Peter here with your sports report. Baseball and softball both play away, with baseball playing at Via Park and softball playing at Apple Valley in the second round of the CIF playoffs. Baseball and softball have had great seasons, both with 20 wins on their record. Although baseball has won five league championships in a row, they have not won their second round of CIF in that time. While softball has been to the softball CIF semifinals three times in a row, looking to make it a fourth. Wishing both teams luck as they compete for their titles. That's all for your sports report, DP. Now over to Nandini with your current events. Hey DP, it's Nandini with the news. This weekend, Santa Barbara High School crowned a transgender student prom queen. The Santa Barbara News Press says the 18-year-old Blue Nebecker was appreciative but not surprised by her classmates' acceptance. Saturday's prom was a milestone for another reason, too. A female student, Sabrina Dabby, was voted prom king. Blue said that students felt that gender doesn't matter when it comes to prom king and queen. Blue said she hoped her win will help other transgender students. Thanks for listening, DP.